for the sign of Libra, hello and welcome to my channel. Just remember, remember that the bottom cards are paired with the top cards and I'll be going through the past, present, challenge, and outcome. So, in the recent past we have the Nine of Cups, which is one of the most uplifting and pleasant cards to receive in a read in a reading. Now, this card is often known as the wish card. It can mean that you were hoping for or dreaming about was very likely to be yours at that time. And it could have been in a brief period of time. Now, the appearance of this card is usually of happiness and good times that were about to come. It also usually means that what you wanted was likely to come into being into your life. So, if asking a yes or no type of question, this card is the most powerful indicator of yes. But, like everything else in the tarot, it's not written in stone. And we have this card paired with a page of wands. Now, the page of wands, it represents or... It's about people who are warm, ambitious, and usually high achievers. If this is not an actual person, the Page of Wands indicates the energy of ease of distraction. So in the past, you would have tried, or you did try to, to focus, and... This card indicates that things would things that you started some time ago in the past they were starting to come to life. They started to come to fruition. It also can show that there was a need for new things, new adventures, and new approaches and possibly new ideas at that time in the past for you. Now, this card, it brings us positive energy. Positive energy that must supply follow through. So you need to follow up whatever you were doing in the past to get positive results. And that was the past. Now we move on to the present. We have the Seven of Wands. Now with this card... You're more than likely to find find that in any sort of co competitive situation that you come out on top. So if you're competing with something, you're the winner. You're going to come out on top. Things should be going very well for you now. You should be feeling great. And projects should be moving right along. You may still have some regular moments of self-doubt, but now is time to feel, feel the fear and do it anyway. Also, don't hesitate, don't hesitate to make where you stand clear with people. Your thinking is clear now. And you're more than likely to help someone out by spelling things out for them. Now keep in mind, this card also points towards being independent and thinking for yourself. And this card, the Seven of Wands, it's paired with the Seven of Swords. 
Now, the seven of swords, it can point to someone who is behaving less than ethical, with less than ethical intentions. Okay? It can also mean that someone is prying, they're prying into someone's life where they don't actually belong. Now, if you sense that someone is spying on you, you could be right. Now, if you are tempted to dig through someone else's life or someone's garbage, unless it's that of your children who have given you reason to do so, you need to resist that temptation, resist the impulse, because everyone deserves privacy. So with these two cards paired together, the Seven of Wands is just, it's showing that you could find yourself in a competitive situation and you'll be the winner. You're going to come out on top. Uh, and it's paired with the Seven of Swords. Someone could be prying into your business, spying on you, or you could be doing that to someone. So if you go either way. But uh, these two cards are basically saying there's no need for that because you should focus on being more competitive at this time because you'll win. That's what's important now in the present. You'll be a winner if you do more competitive things instead of most likely anything else. And if you're spying, you just don't want to do that. And if someone's doing that to you and you're feeling it and you're sensing it, then you're probably more than likely correct. But this time should be all about competing because you'll win. You'll be the winner. You'll come out on top. And that's the present. And we move on to the challenge, the Six of Swords. Okay, the Six of Swords. Now, this is definitely a great time for travel of any kind. It also indicates movement, a change in where you are inwardly. Now, usually this is a change for the better, whether the context is internal or external. Think about where you want to be. Now, with the Six of Swords coming up in a reading, there is a, at least a slight reduction in stress and strain. Uh, there may not be or things may not be perfect, but they are going to be better than they have been in the recent past. Now take this time to get your head above water and decide where you're going from here. Now even a short break or change of scenery will be helpful. This does not have to cost a lot of money. And then we have this card here with the Fool card. Now, if you can see the picture on this card, it clearly shows, or it's an indicator of newness in one form or another. Now, in many ways, it indicates purity. The open-hearted energy and the innocence of a child. Because, as we know, children, they are trusting, and trust forms the basis of meaning for this card. Now, this is generally considered a positive card, but there's one thing. Now, the one thing being that it is important to take time to be sure that you are looking where you're going. Because trusting yourself to take a step into, into the unknown is one thing. But 
Doing this without any thought whatsoever could be a big mistake. So with these two cards paired together, the Six of Swords is just letting you know it's a great time for travel because this card is about actually movement, moving, uh, movement, especially movement. Uh, it's a change where you are inwardly for the better. So it's a great time to travel and being that it's paired with the Fool card, you just, you might want to make sure to be careful about your travel plans. Um, think them through wisely because um, if you don't, uh, it may be a mistake because that's, a, that's what the fool, the fool does. <laughs> okay, um, he steps into the unknown without thinking and then things could uh, turn out to be a mistake. So that will be your challenge. And then we move on to the outcome. We have the moon card. Now, the moon card, you could definitely, definitely be feeling more psychic and intuitive, more than usual at this time. So it's going to be important for you to trust your instincts and your impressions even if you don't know where it's coming from. Also, not that you need to be mistrusting, but it will be helpful for you to realize that when this card appears in a reading, it's possible that all is not what it seems. So if you feel you cannot trust someone then you probably cannot. Go with your gut instincts. Also, if you are waiting on an answer from someone, it may be taking longer than you would like for it to. So try to stay patient. And we have this card paired with the Two of Wands. Now, with this card, it's important for you to keep your balance in every way that you possibly can. Even with, when it comes to boring things like eating the right foods, getting enough rest. Okay, so with the Two of Wands, it also often indicates partnerships with one another or one other person. Now, this can be business or personal or both. Now, this card will also remind us to stay mindful of the give and take required for all successful relationships. So, if things are feeling out of balance for you at this time, just just remember that there, well, just remember that things are about to get much better. So keep your eyes on the prize that you're looking for and remain positive. Okay, so with these two cards paired together, the moon card is about feeling psychic and very intuitive. And if you're thinking something, good or bad, it's probably what you're thinking. So there's no, re there's no reason to doubt yourself at this time because your instincts are high. And we have this card paired with the Two of Wands. It's about keeping balance in every way that you can. So being that you'll be feeling psychic just balance it out. Um, don't think you're crazy because of the things that you're thinking. Um, balance out your thoughts and go with your intuition because you're more than on point at this time. And that's going to be the outcome. So, Libra, I hope this resonated. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone but then again, if you like this reading, please like, 
subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you like to do. And I thank you so much for watching and have a great day.